Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the types of glands. The glands are broadly classified into two types, endocrine glands and exocrine glands. The endocrine glands are ductless glands. They secrete their products directly into the blood. These secretions are called hormones. The exocrine glands, uh, the endocrine glands are structurally and chemically diverse. However, all endocrine tissues have one common feature and that is they are highly vascularized that is they are richly supplied with blood capillaries and vessels. The endocrine glands may contain one type of secretory cells or some endocrine glands also have more than one type of secretory cells and they produce a large number or more than one type of secretion. For example, pituitary gland which produces at least nine hormones and adrenal glands they produce, they have many types of secretory cells and produce a large number of hormones. The endocrine secretions play a role in chemical coordination of the body. They also modulate short and long term physiological processes. Dear yes, students, now we shall discuss exocrine glands. The exocrine glands produce fluid secretions which are released through the ducts onto the epithelial surfaces of the body. These fluid secretions may be proteins that is enzymes or mucus or both that is protein along with mucus. We shall take few examples of exocrine glands. First are the salivary glands which produce saliva that is delivered to the oral cavity through mandibular and parotid ducts. Another example is of exocrine pancreas that produces pancreatic juice that contains digestive enzymes and it is delivered into the lumen of small intestine by pancreatic duct. Eyes have lacrimal glands which produce tears and these tears are exported into the uh, out, um, uh, out of the body through lacrimal ducts. Mammary glands are also exocrine glands which produce milk and this milk comes out uh, through the lactiferous ducts. 